Alright, Okayama Fixed. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Track is 29 degrees. Um, there is a chance of rain at Okayama here, so just be aware of that. This is for dry. I have the brake bias, the only thing you can really change on the car, set to 55.5%. Uh, as low as you can go without locking up the tires too badly is going to get you around the track faster. Uh, if the track is wet, uh, you do actually want to lower that brake bias. Uh, the wetter the track is, the lower you want to have it, um, probably around 52%. Uh, that will give you um, better braking in wet conditions. Uh, if, if you can do 52% in dry, well, good on you. That's, that's really good. Um, so, we're going to do... Um, a 36.6. Now, this is about three quarters of the way through the tank. Uh, I, I think this will be a fairly competitive time. So we'll go through the corners in slow-mo and then run it out at full speed. So uh, coming into turn one, obviously fourth gear, looking uh, for the 100 board here and the blue cone on the right and basically getting on the brakes uh, about between the two of them three quarters of the way you can use this white line as a, as a marker um, hard on the brakes down into second gear uh, real hard on the brakes uh, you may want to brake a little earlier when the tires are cold uh, obviously if it's rain you may want to be braking near the bridge and then releasing the brake and it's important to get turned in here uh, this corner is cambered here and you want to catch that camber and get the car turned in and getting on the power as early as you can just a little bit of lifting it's important to be on the inside here as you can see as we exit this curb the camber of the track uh, starts to disappear you can see up here now it's almost anti cambered um, picking up the throttle as early as possible gonna be a lot of people spinning out here going wide into the gravel especially on the first laps uh, if you take that corner wide your back end is going to want to step out so it's really important to get into that corner coming into the next one you can catch a little bit of the grass here you don't want to get too greedy uh, you're looking for the sandy bit here is a turn in point turning in earlier than you think um, third gear and then just just a dab of brakes little bit more of a dab of brakes on cold tires and you want to get right up against this curb I think I get on it a little bit um, better to be a little bit on it than wide and picking up the throttles early as possible uh, again cold tires you're just gonna have to manage the throttle a little bit more you probably won't be able to be quite on full throttle through that and then just using all of the track on exit don't get into the sand the sand is very penalizing this section, um, if it's raining, if the track is wet, this section is very slippery. Watch out for that. So coming into the next turn, uh, looking for the 100 board and the 50 board. You can also use the end of the blue uh, barrier here as a good guide. Getting on the brakes from fourth gear down into second, hard on the brakes. Again, uh, cold tires, you may want to just be braking a little bit earlier. And then releasing the brakes, getting the car turned in. Again, using the camber of this corner right up against the curbs there. Don't really want to get on the curbs so much for this one. Uh, keep it on the pavement and then just picking up the throttles early as possible. And letting the car run out. You don't want to run it out all the way wide. Uh, also, this straight is going to be uh, quite a, a passing opportunity, so practice defensive lines. You may want to be covering the inside if there's a car really close behind you. All right, so looking for the 100 board and the Marshall station here. Um, getting on the brakes from fourth down into first, really hard on the brakes, uh, braking just after that hundred board. Um, cold tires, you may want to be braking at the hundred board. 
down into first you can see the track is really cambered here and you got to get the car into that camber if you are up top you are going to lose a lot of grip and then just getting right in here getting the car turned in just releasing the brakes and then you want to pick up the throttle I got a lot of curb here probably a little more than I should have and then just picking up the throttle letting the car run out again not so much all the way over to the left because you gotta get way over to the right here to set up the next corner now on warm tires shifting up into second for a little bit maybe of a short shift um, in on cold tires you may want to hold this in first for the first lap or two uh, and there's not really a great marker kinda looking towards the end of the um, uh, tires here on the left um, just giving it a dab of brakes and turning in earlier than you think and just uh, looking to get onto those curbs picking up the throttle again as early as you can those curbs are a little disruptive but you want to cut that corner as much as you can and then again turning in earlier than you think kind of at this white line or the curbs here Again, just a little dab of brakes, um, the cold tires, maybe just a little dab more, and then just releasing the brake and picking up the throttle. And again, you want to cut this as much as you can using that curb, picking up the throttle, and then just letting the car run out wide. Can be a bit of a passing opportunity here. Uh, so you may want to practice defensive lines. Looking for the 50 board on the right and the Marshall box on the right. Just after the 50 board, um, maybe just a little bit before it on cold tires, down into first gear, and then using that uh, Marshall box as sort of a turn-in marker. Releasing the brakes, getting into the camber of that corner again, and picking up the throttle. And you'd, again, you don't want to run all the way out wide because you do have to get over to the left here quite a bit to set up for the next corner. Not really a great marker, uh, kind of the change in the, the fence here you can use as a, a bit of a guide. So a little bit of brakes just to slow the car down and get that turn in. And again, getting into the camber of that corner with those curbs. All of these cambered corners with the curbs watch out in the rain. That is where rain does collect. And then just using that curb a little bit. You don't want to get too greedy on that curb. It can uh, spin up your tires. So just watch if you're on that curb quite a bit. Watch how much throttle you're giving it. Uh, you can spin out there. And letting the car run out wide. So again, a little bit of a short shift here up into third, looking for these uh, Marshall boxes um, right at the big one, turning in. Again, it's, it's, it's a bit of a turn in earlier than you think. In third gear, uh, second gear, maybe on the first lap or two, you might want to hold it in second gear, but third gear is probably better getting onto these curbs and it's important don't get your tire onto this pavement over the curb uh, this curb has got quite an edge to it it is going to grab your tire uh, it is going to really disrupt your car if you get uh, over the curb so on the curb but not over the curb that is trouble and letting the car run out wide in third gear and you're looking for the end of the green stuff here so good blast of brakes down into second gear and then kind of where the grass starts up again turning in and releasing the brakes and you want to pick up the throttle as early as possible this is a big straight the big start finish straight uh, so it's important to get a good exit here uh, to catch the guy in front of you or to hopefully lose the guy behind you and then just picking up the throttle using all of the track on exit you can get on that green stuff no big deal the sand is a big deal it will slow you down quite a bit so that's a 136.6 I think that will be a fairly competitive time 
on a dry track so watch out the rain might be coming we'll see you next time we'll run it out at full speed